Whoops.
What's up, Panda? <coughs> oh, I forgot to add mushrooms to that. Mushrooms and... She's gonna do some baked beans, too, because I had them sitting in the, uh... Sitting in the fridge. What's up, Sal? How you doing? All good. Do one for me, one for my fiance, and one for my mother in law. Yeah, I got. I bought this a while ago, and I'm gonna make them. And then I got uh, baby Bella mushrooms, baby portobellas, and the shallots, and some garlic. Actually, gonna need a couple for the steak as well, so. Check the meat again. I think four is good. I was making a bagel too, because I hadn't eaten yet all day. And Hoping that my stomach would settle with some food. Ow, it's hot. Now I should show you. Let me. those and I'll show you. Uh, I already cut the potatoes and they're in the water. Water hasn't started boiling yet, so. Alright, now that that's done. Those are the cinnamon rolls that I made. There's plastic wrap on them, but homemade cinnamon rolls. I think instead of dark brown sugar, I'm going to go light brown sugar next time. I didn't glaze them because I've been heating them up to give to my fiance and I'd rather them be glazed once they get hot rather than glaze and then reheat. Alright, so we want probably three crushed for the garlic. first they turned out pretty good I was a little frustrated because uh, I guess I just wasn't feeling well so like I was just really frustrated with it but looking back it actually looks they look pretty good and I'm happy where they are I don't want stems, so I'm just gonna de-stem these. And I'm the only one that's gonna be eating mushrooms, so. Actually, I think my fiance's mom would, my mother-in-law would eat some too. And I'm just giving them, not super thin, because I want them to cook, and I don't want them to be completely mushy. Uh, 
probably cut one more. And then I'll save the other one for some eggs or something. Did he cut his hand again? I had I missed the end of the cooking stream because uh I had to go finish up some wedding stuff with my fiance, so I wasn't able to watch the full stream. I did watch. <laughs> watch the left clean a bowl and then try to show the reflection off and Carrie got mad at him and grabbed the bowl. Oh yeah, Chad does never forget. You're right, you're right. Oh, here's the steaks. I'm sitting out so they get the room temp before I put them in a pan. Looks good though. A couple ribeyes. Uh, let me get the pan for the beans. Yeah, they're pretty good. It was like, uh, they were on sale. I think it was like 30 bucks for all three of those. So, it's not too bad. Alright, butter's good, so I'm gonna turn that off. You guys like baked beans? I like baked beans. I like, I usually like baked beans with like sausage. But that's really good. Those are good together. Baked beans and steak isn't bad, but I'm just gonna throw those on. They're not gonna, I'm not gonna turn them on yet. I'm just gonna have them on there. So they're good to go. Uh, let's grab the heavy cream. Oh shit. I guess I never opened this one. Baked beans and barbecue are my favorite. That'd be good too, yeah. I think my fiance is going to have those as well, so I don't want to throw a bunch of veg in there that she won't want to eat. All right, mushrooms are done. Let's cut the shallot up, but I don't need the whole thing. That's probably good. fridge. Water's boiling on the potatoes. Let's so cut the onions. We'll check the diamonds and see where we're at on those. I'm going to put this back on very low. I think I'm just going to do some rings. Oops. That one's a little fat. Oh, it's going to be easy. stop working. What is this called again? Shallot. There we go. 
just separating them a little bit. Got my brain like turned off there. So these will be in the mushrooms too. And I'll put that garlic in there as well. I'm sorry, camera's a little. So that garlic will go in with the scallions and the baby bellas. And then those three garlics are gonna go in the um, steak pan when I start cooking those. I love shallots. I think it's because they're also kind of expensive. So people tend to not use them just because of that. Because compared to like an 89 cent onion, shallots are like a dollar thirty. Well, they are for me anyway, so. All right, let's check. The potatoes. Still. That's fine. They are worth it, definitely. I still got flour everywhere. Oh, I flipped you over. My bad. There we go. I need to clean those. Alright, let's get...
Did she post the pictures? I missed the like end of the stream. So I gotta go back and look at them. They sounded good. That cream sounded so good. The the ganache that they were putting in there. That ganache sounded really, really good. Did she take pictures? I might have to go back in the stream and just watch the clips. How'd the crepes turn out? I know that they made like way too many for the batter. I think they said that the batter made what, 40, 45 crepes? Oh, my nose. What's up, Falcon? Right, let's check the potatoes again. How you doing? getting there. Not quite where I want them, but they're getting there. <laughs> what what's in my fridge? Got big ass watermelon in my fridge. I don't know when to cut that. Maybe this weekend. Uh, let's have some tea, actually. for the noise. I'm sure that was hella annoying. Oh no, did I open the wrong one? Of course I did. God damn it. I don't hope they'll finish this one. Nice. So our garlic's ready, portobello's are ready. I had to cut some chives still. But those are just for garnish. So, waiting for the potatoes to be close to done. Where's that one? Hell yeah! I love fuzzy. I like their breakfast tacos more than anything, to be honest. I bought um, metal straws, because I never have straws in the apartment, so fuck it. I figured might as well have reusable straws. Goddamn, metal straws get so cold. Holy shit. Fuzzies is very good, though. I used to have... Do I have any Dickies cups left? I don't have any Dickies cups. The only cup I have is also a cowboy chicken, which is pretty good. They do rotisserie chicken. I don't like their sides, but their chicken's really good. All right, let's check those potatoes again. All right, we're gonna turn the water off so it's not boiling. I'm gonna find a lid for the beans. Is this the right lid? I think so. Damn. 
Oh, I flipped you. No, no cowboy chicken up there? I don't know if it's a local chain or if it's a Texas chain. Or... I don't know. My mom took me there once because uh, she liked it. So she wanted me to try it and see if I liked it. I thought it was alright. Not amazing, but they have decent rotisserie chicken, which is very nice. Alright, so let's turn that up a bit. Those go together. Steak, steak, steak. We'll cut some green onions while we're waiting. Some chives, I guess. Not to be fancy. It's the only problem with chives. It's like you gotta group them up and cut them. That should be enough for now. Those back in the fridge. I used to have um, Dickie's Cups in high school before I started going to culinary school. Um, my mom used to go to Dickie's a bunch to get uh, dinner, which was pretty good. Dickie's wasn't bad. Um, the one near our place got really, like, shitty, though. So we stopped going to Dickie's, and then I found, like, Hutchinson's and Pecan Lodge and way better barbecue options. Smash those chives. Uh, for the golden potatoes, I left the skin on because the skin on golden potatoes are very, very thin. And I kind of like the texture. If I was doing Idaho's or like russets or something with like a heavier skin on there, I probably would have peeled it. I wonder why that happens. I wonder why, like, you would think that chains would be following the exact recipes of the main. I wonder why they fall off so greatly. I wonder if McDonald's is like that. <laughs> You think, like, the main McDonald's is really, really good? Like, an actual, like, burger place? Yeah, true. Instead of money. Love of food versus money. Alright, we're gonna stop there, because that's where they get better. There's a burger place. I think it's a chain. I'm, I haven't seen it anywhere else. I haven't been many places, though. So take that with a grain of salt. But uh, Grub Burger. I don't know if you guys have seen or had a Grub Burger. All right. We're going to take potatoes off. All right, Falcon. I'll uh, I'll definitely post it in the Discord. So if you miss it, it'll be there. So we're gonna is it Grub Burger part? I don't know. It, for me, it's just Grub Burger. 
They've got some really good burgers there. Uh, throw the potatoes back in the pot. And I'm going to let them dry just a little bit. And then while that's going, we're going to turn on both the beans. Medium low and medium high for that one. So we're letting the, the water steam off of the rest of the potatoes before I throw them into the stand mixer because I don't want them to, words, I don't want them to be watery when I mix them together. So we're letting the water get off of there first and then we'll mix them up with the cream and butter. And I'm going to use this pan for the mushrooms and shallots. I keep saying scallions. I don't know why. Uh, let's get this over here. Let's get this over here. Get a pair of thongs out. I'll get the wooden spat out. Or spoon for taters. Let's start seasoning these. Fresh ground pepper. Brown pepper. We're going to use a little granulated onion and a little bit of garlic as well. And I'm using Lowry seasoning and salt. And I'm okay with going a little bit overboard on the seasoning because it does come off. All right, so we're gonna take this now. Dump them in. For that, put on medium low. Just gonna add a splash to start. Give them a little bit of a mix. Throw some more cream and butter in there. A little bit more cream and butter. Instant mashed potatoes, like the ones in uh, that come in like a pack. They kind of look like this. Let me see. Do I have any, I don't have any like small baking packets. They come in like a, they look like this, but they're in like an actual packet. I don't know what, I know what you're talking about. I've never made them. My fiance's made them because she wanted those. I don't know why. The, I don't know if they're, they're not for me. Yeah, they're not terrible, but that also has to do with the seasoning you're putting in them as well. So, you can make them a lot better than they are, and you can also make them a lot worse, too. I'm just scraping down the side so everything gets mixed in together. Oh, man. The powder one? Yeah. 
My mom uh, defaulted to those a lot when she wasn't able to make dinner like full time because of work. And they weren't bad. It's not like they were bad. It's just they're not as good. Alright, I'm gonna turn that off on. Clean in this real quick. Yeah, next month, um, my fiance's brother, my brother-in-law, invited us to go down to Galveston for the week. And he, uh, when we were talking about it, um, oh, I can tell you, uh, I don't want to be like overbearing, but my fiance is not here. So the reason I had missed stream for a couple days or like a whole week is that my fiance's dad passed away and uh, we had been dealing with all of that stuff. So that's why I've been like kind of not here, not really playing anything, not really streaming as much. Most of the streams I did was when she wasn't here so that I could like be with her and stuff like that. So yeah, it's been really, really, really rough, especially with like wedding planning and stuff like that. So we're, that's where um, her brother, after we had been through the, the funeral on the wake and all of that, um, her brother wanted us to come down to Galveston with him and his wife and uh, my, my fiance's sister as well. And we were talking about it. And he was like, uh, yeah, there's like a full kitchen. There's a grill outside. We're like right off the beach. He's like, if you wanted to cook, you got to bring your own stuff because it's like a timeshare house, so there's not really anything there. I'm like, oh, okay, I see why you're inviting me. I see why you're inviting me over to the to the house for the weekend so we could cook for you. He's like, well, I mean, it's not free. <laughs> I'm like, if you buy the food, I'll cook it. So I think next week I might try to do a Gallison stream. We'll see how that goes. Hey, Rosalie, join. So, we'll see if I can get good internet out there to at least stream maybe a couple dishes. Maybe we'll do some grilling, something like that. All right, my pan is getting hot. So, we're going to turn that down just for a second here because I need to flip these in a minute. But I want to see how the potatoes look. We need a little bit more whipping. That's where I want to stay. So there's still skins and stuff. In here, which is fine. That's what I wanted. Where did my? Oh yeah, I washed it. So it's it's nice and creamy, but there's some textures and stuff like that, which is what I wanted. What's on the steak? So far, we have uh, cracked black pepper, some. Onion powder, garlic powder, and then Lowry season and salt. Skin on for gold, skin off for russets. I can't do russets with skin on. That's too much skin for me. Where's my nutmeg? There it is. So for these, I have a nutmeg here. I love nutmeg, fresh nutmeg in my mashed potatoes. So we are going to grind some fresh nutmeg in. And then once we grind these in, we're going to throw our steaks on the pan. Oops. I want those in there. It's too much. Roasted. What are you doing? Thanks for gifting us of the cell. 
Now you get to use those sweet emotes. Those sweet reptar emotes that we just got. I did rust this the other day. The only di reason I did them is because uh, they were hella cheap. Russets are really, really cheap. So actually, I need to open the window or the door because it might get a little smoky. Oh, it's so warm. Gross. All right, so we're gonna turn this back up to high. I'm gonna flip these over and season the other side. I'm only cooking two at a time. Yeah, we usually did yellow for the holidays and then russets were, oh, I'm almost out of pepper. Russets were like what you had when it wasn't the holidays. Because it's everywhere. So a good amount of seasoning because it will fall off in the pan. chili powder in the mushrooms. Good pre. So here we go, we're going to cook these two. And we'll leave that guy for later. We'll also get our buddy, buddy, get our butter ready to go. And then while we're getting a sear, we will season the potatoes with some salt and pepper. That looked like a lot of salt. It's not really once you get it mixed in, so. And since we got skin on, I'm just gonna refill the pepper mill. And get some regular pepper in there. Bill, nice. Gotta grind it down just a tidbit. You can get the top on. So 
our steaks are still going. We just mix this in. Reverse the steaks. I don't want to mess with them too much. Couple seconds and we'll flip them over. And we'll throw the thyme, the garlic, and everything in there. There's the cinnamon rolls I made on Tuesday. You all missed it. Feels bad. I got those out because I think my fiance wants to take some with her. Let's get a spoon and taste these. Let's see if we need some more salt. Oh, real good. Mm -mm. I don't think that needs anything. There's the flip. Looks good, right? Now, we'll add a couple sprigs of thyme. Then our garlic. I just realized we used all the garlic. That's fine. And then while that's going, we'll throw that in there. That's going to be for our mushrooms and our shallots and garlic. I wanted the ends to get a little bit cooked before I got the butter in there because I want the bottom to be caramelized as well. Damn, it looks good. Take the beans off the heat because they're done. Twenty to two in the morning. Good God! You want to take a look outside? Now we're close to twenty to two in the morning. It's Fuck, it's almost 8 o'clock, but like... Dude, it's 8 o'clock and it's still like super light outside. What the hell? Daylight saving time. Potatoes are done. Steaks are getting there. Letting the butter heat up and we'll throw in all of our shallots. <clears throat> I kind of want to sweat those. And we'll get back to basting.
Alright, and mushrooms in. Whoop! We lost one. Might need to add a little bit more butter to those mushrooms. check the bottom. It's not as pretty as the top. So we're gonna let those go for a little bit longer. Oh shit, I turned it down. I'm gonna turn that up. These definitely need some more butter. It smells good in here, not gonna lie. It smells really good in here. <clears throat> Just gonna cover these up. I don't want them to chill too much. All right, now we'll add the garlic. And we'll get that moving. Yes, sir. Always carry gold butter. Always. Unsalted carry gold butter. Garlic's in. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. I'm gonna let those just go. Oh yeah. So those are just about ready. I'm actually going to use a baking dish. Yeah, anytime I'm cooking steak, carigold butter. And we're gonna take these out. I'm not gonna throw these in the oven, don't worry. I just need a dish that can hold everything. Cause I gotta cook one more. All right. And here goes the last one. So I'll just steal the garlic from those and throw it in here. Oh, these smell so good. So I'm actually gonna steal a little bit of chipotle powder. We'll see. There we go. Throw it on top of the mushroom.
Yeah, I wanted it to cook out a little too, because that, you know, when you when you first add those in, they have that like dry flavor to them. I now see why these steaks are on sale. You see how it's separating right here? It means that the, the meat isn't as tightly packed together as like a more expensive steak. It's still going to be good. It's just not one of the high quality steak versions. So that's it. That's where I want those to be. So those are done. Now we're just cooking this last steak and I will do some dishes and stuff, all the rest and flip that baby over. It does all taste the same. It's a little bit less quality. They were on sale. Again, it was these three for 30 bucks. So $10 a steak, pretty cheap. Um, they're not going to taste bad though they're going to taste good it's just not something you would see a, a restaurant buy alright let's get rid of all this we don't need the salt anymore we don't need the pepper I do need the time, I'm going to throw in there right now, because I'm going to turn this down to medium low. Uh, yeah, medium low. And we'll add the butter in. And we'll steal these garlics. And throw those in there. Throw this butter in our soft butter dish. There's mine. Right, this is just about where I want it to be. I'm gonna flip it, try to grab it. I'm just gonna place it on top. Oh, it's warm. Damn, it's warm. It was sprig of time on the floor. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna grab some foil and cover these. I'm 
let these rest for at least 10 minutes, basically until I'm done with the dishes. We're gonna shut the door now too, so we don't get any bugs. Whew. Don't know if my fiance is coming over or not. Dishes time, yes sir. God, I love that emote. <laughs> I wish I came up with it, to be honest. Also, wish mobile could see it. That would be nice. Alright. Now it's actually dishes time. I wonder if Twitch has plans in the future to like buy BTTV or partner with them maybe. That way the Twitch app itself can have access to those other ones. I mean, like, because the API obviously can do animated GIFs if it's doing it in, in BTTV, you know? So, like, I don't know why they wouldn't want to capitalize that, capitalize on that. Seems like a good idea to me, but I'm just a chef. You know? I'm not going to clean the cutting board because I'm going to use that to cut with so I clean almost everything. And then I'm just gonna plate my dish because I don't think my fiance is gonna be able to make it over because she's got stuff to do. But I will take pictures of mine and stuff like that. Yeah, rip mixer, right? What, the cleaning? <laughs> yeah, so my fiance doesn't cook, like, at all. So I do all of the cooking generally. And I can't stand leaving dishes in the sink overnight or, like, anything like that. It's just part of my, like, comes from working in the kitchen. I just don't leave anything ever. So, like after after you finish streams, I usually just take another 45 minutes to clean the entire dishes that are I used for that stream. Then I clean the sink itself. Then I clean both the stove top and whatever else I use. Because I don't want it to sit and like get greased over and not bad. Yeah, like I couldn't really, because I started the steaks right as I finished the potatoes. 
I would have cleaned up a little bit before I started the stakes, but I wanted to get the stakes going because it was getting kind of late and I didn't want to be cooking super late tonight. Yeah, like, uh, if, if I was streaming uh, and she was here, I would make her her plate after it had rested. I would then make my plate, take the picture, eat as fast as I could, and then jump straight back into washing dishes. So I would finish eating first, but I, I wouldn't be like, on my dad's side, they used to like, we'd eat and then the dishes would stay there like overnight. And like every time I'd see it, I'd be like, oh, I'm fucking losing it. I'm losing my mind right now. the potato off the pan mixer plate. That's her. Oof. How could you marry such a heathen? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> My fiance does this thing where she leaves um, like half drank glasses of water everywhere, like uh, signs. And I'm hesitant to clean them up because signs. No. Cause she'll get mad if she's like, she's like, where's my glass? I'm like, well, it was on the counter last night when you were asleep. So I put it in the sink and then I washed it and I put it in the dishwasher. She's like, why'd you do that for? I was using that. I'm like, but it, okay. <laughs> I won't touch your glasses, I'm sorry. Let's transfer the mushrooms. I'll turn the oven off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Then it's been rinsed and put in the dishwasher. That's where your cup is. <laughs> To be fair, like she's usually drinking like water, so it's nothing like like bad stuff that'll sit like tea or like a sugary drink or a soda or anything. But still, I'm just like she's using another cup. Like I'm gonna wash it anyways. It's gotta be a, a girl thing, right? Like I don't know any guys that do that. Yeah, it's like the morning drink, yeah, yeah, yeah. She usually wakes up like a couple hours before me too, so like, cause I, I'm the night owl and she's the early bird. Which is fine. I love to get like dishes and laundry done at night and she'll do it like first thing in the morning. I'm just like, I can't, I just can't do 